Hi, I'm Richie Lohman of LML Lift Consultants. Here's a short clip for building managers or facilities managers or anyone that's interested in a quick overview of a lift. So, let's take a closer look. Okay, so we're on the top floor of this building uh, to take a closer look at a machine roomless lift, uh, commonly known as a MRL. Um, basically, machine roomless because there is no lift machine room that's separate. Uh, all the equipment is uh, inside the lift well, with the lift controller being in the door jam of the top floor. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the maintenance operating panel. We have here the main circuit board or microprocessor. Um, basically, the technician would access this to undergo diagnostics. Um, in addition, we have a brake release device, which would be used in the event of a power failure to roll the lift. Um, and then at the other end of the maintenance operating panel, we have a number of circuit breakers and uh, relays. So now we've accessed the lift car safely from the top floor. And um, being a machine roomless lift, uh, the gearless machine and the drive and other components are all in the lift well itself. Uh, so let's get on, drive up and take a look. So from on top of the lift car at the top of the lift well, we now can have a closer look at the gearless hoisting machine. Um, there's a brake on either side of the hoisting machine. This machine's mounted on the car rails, which the car drives on. The hoisting ropes are here over the main drive sheet. And then over in this side is uh, the standing ends of the hoisting ropes. Uh, so this particular lift is rope two to one, which basically means that there's a sheave on top of the counterweight, which we'll look at shortly as well. Also behind me, we have the variable frequency drive unit and below that, the lift controller in the lift well itself. So from the other side of the lift car, we can see the other end of the ropes, the hoisting ropes. Um, at the top here, we have a slack rope switch in the event that one of these ropes uh, goes slack or potentially breaks. Um, and then above, above that, we have the speed governor, which is a very important safety device. Um, the way in which the speed governor works is there's an endless rope that goes all the way around, attaches to the side of the lift car and is tensioned in the lift pit. So basically when the lift car drives, this rope moves at the same speed as the lift car. So in the event that the lift car overspeeds, the governor first trips electrically to stop the lift. And if it continues over speeding in the downwards direction, uh, mechanically it'll trip lift up the rope and activate the safety gear under the car stopping the okay, lift. Okay, so now we've driven the lift car down, halfway down the lift well, uh, so we can see the counterweight behind me. Um, this particular counterweight has a sheave on top and that's due to the roping arrangement, uh, two to one. And essentially the counterweight is the weight of the lift car plus approximately 50% of the rated load to balance a lift. So at each landing, we have obviously a landing door and then the landing door locks so that the lift can't move until the landing door lock is in circuit. So basically, if we open one up, we have a door weight in the channel that actually allows the door to close by itself. We have an air cord that couples the two doors together and then we have the lock itself. Okay, so now we've put the lift car in a position so that we can view the power door operator and the car doors. Um, so this actually couples with the landing doors when it comes to floor and this is what powers open the landing doors at each floor. Okay, so now we're in the lift pit. Um, over here, 
We have the governor tension weight. Um, basically, the governor tension weight keeps the governor rope tight. Um, there is a switch on it in case it's not in the right position, it trips. Um, so there's a number of safety devices that will stop the lift, including the safety gear we spoke about, um, as well as some limit switches and other devices. Um, but we also have some final stop rubber buffers in the pit if it does uh, travel past the, the lowest floor.